All right, thanks, Justin. Hey, you may want to catch a movie this weekend. Film critic Josh Bell is here with the Bell Breakdown on this Friday. Just got a little wake up yeah, call right that's there. Quite the <laughs> burst of uh, something there. Something. We love the Bell. <laughs> it wakes us up on a Friday. Yeah. Uh, you went to see Uncle Drew. Now this is a comedy starring Kyrie Irving and other NBA stars. And yes. They're all coming to town, I think, next week for the NBA All Star Game. So well, there you go. Appropriate um, to go see this movie. Yeah. If you like basketball, and I have to admit, I am not a basketball fan. Okay. or person at all. So other than this movie, I had no familiar, familiarity mm -hmm. with Kyrie Irving uh, or some of the other people who are in this, uh, Nate Robinson and Reggie Miller, uh, Shaquille O'Neal also in this movie. Okay. Who I, I, know I, I do know, yes, you kind of <laughs> can't miss Shaquille O'Neal. Um, but even if you know who they are, yeah. they're all kind of disguised in this movie because mm -hmm. the idea here is that they're all playing old men. Oh. So they're all covered in this old man makeup and they're all these, these kind of former uh, street ball players and uh, they reunite uh, to take on uh, an another team of young players yeah, in this right, yeah. uh, famous um, street ball tournament in, uh, in New York City. And move. the main star of this the really passing. is uh, Lil Rel Howery, who like people may remember from Get Out, kind of stole a lot of scenes as the main character's best friend in Get Out. He's very funny, um, and uh, he's a better movie star, I think, than these basketball players who are not actors. Right. Um, but really, I think the appeal of this movie is seeing these players that people are familiar with do kind of goofy comedy stuff. It's an incredibly basic, predictable story about learning to believe in yourself mm -hmm. and teamwork, and it's really cheesy. It's actually based on a series of Pepsi commercials right. where Kyrie Irving would trick people uh, who thought he was an old man. But there's no prank element here. It's just a, a scripted kind of bland, very Easy. basic comedy. If you like these players, maybe you'll get some amusement out of it, but other than that, it's really, there's nothing to it. Okay, got it. So it's okay. And they had an eight track. I said they were putting They did, yeah. The, the whole <laughs> bit is that these guys are out of touch and now they're getting back onto the court. And of course, they're secretly amazing because they're played by these players. Uh, but you can see it all coming. Okay. You really can. All yeah. right, yeah, one of those. Okay, well, to each their own. Sicario, Day of the Soldado. Am I saying it right? Soldado, Soldado I think, Soldado, yes. Yeah. I'm going to okay. say it wrong too. So this is an action uh, sequel starring Josh Brolin and Benicio del Toro. I saw this first one a long time ago, right? Uh, it was a few years ago. Yeah. I think 2015, Sicario, the original, yeah. which had Josh Brolin and Benicio Del Toro and Emily Blunt, who was really the main star of that first one. And uh, I thought that movie was excellent. It was a highly critically acclaimed movie at the time. Um, really fascinating look at the drug war uh, between uh, the U on the U.S.-Mexico border and kind of the futility of all of it. And it was really all through the eyes of Emily Blunt's character, who was this FBI agent that was being kind of used and manipulated by Josh Brolin and Benicio Del Toro, and now she's gone. And so we just have these guys who were kind of the villains of the first movie in a way, and now there are these kind of anti-heroes almost, and it really gets rid of a lot of the nuance and complexity of the story that was in the first movie, mm -hmm. and it's just a big generic action thriller. Okay. I think uh, there's some cool action and there's some suspense to it, and, and if people like the first movie, they might be interested in seeing an extension of the story. But I think this was a movie that was really good on its own and told a really compelling, self-contained story and probably didn't need to be followed up. And mostly, this new movie demonstrates why that's the case. It's okay. a different director, uh, different uh, cast. It doesn't really, it doesn't live up to the original. Okay, got it. And you said it's much more violent than the other one too, It right? is quite violent, <laughs> yes. If you're okay. not into violence, definitely don't watch this movie. Okay. Very violent. Thanks so much, Josh, and we'll see Josh next week. Stay <laughs>